So everything we have to do now is, I was actually thinking of purchasing a, a massive plow. Like, this big. It's going to be a 16 meter, 16 meter, so we don't have to worry anymore about uh, taking a long amount of time. And I actually thought about it, and I also looked at a few different prices for other things of the same size, and nothing compares. And we also have a tractor that's big enough to be able to pull it, so... And I just hit my microphone there. Yep, I'm going to purchase it. Bit of an impulsive buy, but it's not really that bad. And also, sadly, we walk... Okay, saving. Sadly, we lost the, uh... Well, field four with the canola, half of it. Because I looked at the crop calendar. Assuming that you're able to harvest it for the rest of the month, but nope, that's not how that works. That farmer too probably fought about the same thing, and yep, that's not good. I'm gonna quickly go grab that now, and I'll well, actually have to purchase it, so I'm just gonna park right here for now. And I will go into plows. And it's right here. 85,000. And we're still in really healthy number now. I'm happy we were able to actually purchase this machine really early into the series. Because it's going to really come in handy in the future. Alright, make sure you guys at the store. And we're here. Alright, that's not going to take too long to connect. Just have to back up in there and... Yeah, it's connected. Uh, I'm sorry about the previous episode with the microphone because uh, I forgot to change a few settings with the microphone to actually make it sound good. So the audio was terrible. Like crazy, crazy loud. But now I've changed it so that it's actually able to pick up my voice much like, higher. Meaning I'm going to be able to talk normally without having to scream to actually be able to let you guys hear me. Alright, meet you guys at the farm. All right, we're back at the farm. Oh, great. A lot of traffic. I'm just going to quickly uh, knock out this field right here with a quick little time lapse. Just a arranging here. Alright, so let's go. And we're done. Just almost, but I mean, most of it's been done. There's a lot of field to do, yes I know, but it's just something I'm going to have to do. So I'm going to do this one as well. Off camera, obviously. Because you guys already saw me do one. 
you guys in a bit. And I'm done. Only took a few minutes. I just got two more fields to do and that won't take too long. No, for you guys at least, for me it's going to take at least half an hour. And we're here. I'm just going to quickly just do a little bit of uh, thumbnail work. Just to see what actually would look good as a thumbnail. I normally don't show this in my videos, but here we are. I think for this thumbnail, I might just do is grab the smaller plow and then make it seem like the bigger one's overtaking it. Something like this. something like that and I just need to get them a little bit closer from each other and then make it look like they're actually plowing then it'll be a perfect thumbnail you guys probably don't care about that but now you guys know where the thumbnails come from somewhere like that And the smaller one's going to go somewhere about here. Right about here, roughly. I'm just trying to figure out the right locations. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, that works. I'm just going to quickly get him to plow up the area and... It'll look quite good. Again, I'm doing a lot of unnecessary prep here, but it's to give views, people. If I don't get that first click, I mean, I don't get the view. Alright, done. I'm just going to go into this one. And that's going to be the camera. A little something like that. And it's been taken. Alright, done. Alright, now let's get to the real stuff. Now I'm just going to grab it and actually just stir it like normal. If I wouldn't have shown you guys that, you guys would just got confused. Like, why is there just random lines of already plowed up area? That's why I did it. So now you guys know. Just gonna quickly hire a worker for this guy. No, we're supposed to go straight. Like that. I had to return this guy, but I'll do that later. Or the worker can do it for me. Oh, he's going off. Now I'm just going to put this away. And I'm probably going to start with the other field. Or actually, I think about it. Uh, let's get rid of our old planning setup. Because we're not going to be using that anytime soon. And I've got the money now to be able to upgrade it. So I'm going to do that. Look in the sale, you never know. 
uh, seeding technology. I'm thinking of getting this one. Yeah, this one. Only use 180 horsepower. It's 12 meters. Goes 15 kilometers an hour. With VKT tires. Looks pretty good. That's what I'm going for. Just not going to purchase it. I'm not going to purchase it yet, but I'm going to do it later. Now I'm going to quickly go and return this back to the store and meet you guys over there. Okay, so I just need to quickly sell this and I'm going to, I'm going to drive back. And I just left a big dent in their uh, door. Don't mind that. Paint is like at the worst condition ever. That's odd, but okay. I do agree. But it's not worth it to repaint it $5,000. Return that. Return that. And that. Okay, so we roughly made 40000 For 40000 I mean, it covers a little bit of the cost of the new one. And we could have got that one. But again, you're better off really using it instead of... Or we could be purchasing a smaller planter. And get a bunch of them. No, it's just going to be easier just to do this. Yeah, I'll think about it. I mean, we got a whole entire... Well, a few months to think about it. So leave, leave a comment if you guys actually have a better idea than me. For the uh, planting. Any of the, any of the cedars. Like a mod or something I could be using. On consoles, obviously. And also, right now, it's a perfect time for you guys to like the video if you guys liked it. Disliked it if you guys didn't like it. And if you guys really want to, you can subscribe. It'll really help me. It'll really help me. Alright, let's get back to the farm. Oh, that's weird. It looks like the uh, worker that I hired to do the... Uh, well, that field looks like he uh, stole my idea and striped it. That was definitely not intentional, but I'm just going to finish it later. The joys of workers. You pay them to do something and they don't do it right. And he's still going. I don't get the issue though. Yeah, he's skipping. I think it's just because he's not able to turn tight enough. I'll just quickly resolve this issue and, well, I don't know. From there, I'll just think about what we're going to do next. Nice and organized and clean. I don't know where I'm going to put this away, but for now, I'm just going to leave it connected because I still have one more field to do behind. I said nicely, neatly organized and clean. It looks like I missed a little area. Oops. Probably also going to get rid of that cultivator because uh, I've got a bit of an upgrade. And I'm done. Gonna lift it up. So I thought about it a little bit when I was cultivating and technically plowing. And pigs. If you look at the pigs, they've been really just doing pretty well. We've got three pairs of 16s now. Well, technically three 16s, you get the point. One of them is the original batch. That's a, like a year and two months old. Then you got another batch that's four months old. Then you got the newest batch that's like brand spanking new. I'm thinking what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to wait 
two years and then sell and then continue doing that. So every two years I sell. And I shouldn't get too much pigs, right? And if there's too much, I could just sell the, uh, the older ones. Quick look at the manure level. Well, we're at 7,650. Pretty good. And the... I'll just quickly look in here to be faster. 15,000 liters of slurry. And 13,000 liters of straw. Pretty good. And 18,000 liters of food. You're doing really good. Probably gonna have to buy myself a... Uh, slurry spreader or something. I'll think about it. It'd be probably six me to work in with. This guy has a 15, so I'll probably use this one. Or any bigger ones, obviously. Like even these ones in the future. Maybe. And we'll think about it. Leave it in the comments and we'll have a conversation down there about what we're going to do. And for now, anything that we have to sell, wheat's not good yet. Hmm, canola's best price right now, so I'll sell it. I'll quickly go and grab a trailer and fill it up. And then we're going to go to the best sell point. That is the... The oil mill is the best price right now. I need to quickly find a way to go in between there. So I'm just going to back this guy up. And we're going to grab the trailer right here. I'm going to quickly go and fill this up and bring it to the grain mill. No, not grain mill, the oil mill. Meet you guys over there. And I'm almost here. Just have to turn into here and... Unload. And we are going to make a really good amount of cash. 40,000. That covers the uh, cost and total of the, uh, well, whatever we have to purchase in the future. Alright, so I'm out of video time. Until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.